Salutations! Welcome to Loving the Language of Literacy. My name is Sophia Lee, and today I'll be doing my Me and Earl on the Dying Girl trailer talk. So, let me just start off by saying I had no idea Me and Earl on the Dying Girl was even being made into a movie. I was innocently scrolling through my Instagram feed with Connie Britton in it because she is the star of my favorite show ever, Nashville, and I was like, oh my god, this is so cool. She's playing the main character's mom in this book to movie adaptation. And then today, I was scrolling through my Twitter feed and it had just blown up with news of the trailer being dropped. So of course, now I have to watch and discuss it with you. If you do not know this, me and Earl the Dying Girl, it follows a boy named Greg and and he has one friend only named Earl. The two of them are just trying to make it through high school, classic kind of setup at least. And then he is forced by his mom to befriend this long lost childhood, not exactly friend, but person he knew from his childhood named Rachel, who has a serious case of leukemia. He and Earl end up trying to make a movie for Rachel, which turns into the catalyst for the entire novel. And I'm guessing it's going to be hilarious and fun and just a feel-good kind of contemporary of self-discovery and just trying to figure out what life is. Of course, I could be completely wrong, taking that I've gotten that only from the Goodreads synopsis. And as we all know, book to me adaptations can be completely different from the source material. Something I'd also like to bring up is that this book only has a 3.58 average Goodreads rating, and on a normal occasion, I would never even pick up a book with that low of a rating. The only reason I've actually even heard about it beforehand was through Raylene from Pad from the Prongs, and she always is just going on and on about how much she loves this book. So I'm guessing that this is kind of a love-hate relationship people have with it. I'm hoping to be one of the people that love it. I have already have it on hold for me at the library. So this might be another paper town sort of situation where I watch the trailer one day and then by the next week I've read the book and loved it, so who knows. And this is going to be my first ever time reacting to the trailer and discussing it. So these are virgin eyes you have here. I have no idea. Interesting intro music. What the heck? He's very dramatic. Connie Britton is always awesome. Apparently there's major suckage. I'm actually here just the mom's making him. <laughs> Parents are just making him go visit this dying girl. Is there going to be a romance between Greg and Rachel? They seem to be a very dramatic duo. This has a serious John Green vibe to it. Didn't think so, punk ass cat. Earl seems like he's quite the character. I feel like I'm watching something with a premise written by John Green because it has that total feel good feeling <laughs> to it about just living life and happiness and messing things up along the way. <laughs> I can see why some people cried with only a trailer for this. I literally just had a chill go up my spine. This is... Uh, wow. Um, judging from the trailer alone, I think I'm going to really like this book as well as the movie if it's a faithful adaptation because stylistically it has the exact tone and feeling and mood that you would get from a John Green novel, which of course I loved. It just seems like an awesome quirky little kind of story and actually what I found out was that this was originally done as a short film for the Sundance Film Festival, which is in Los Angeles, I believe. And I think that this trailer is being released as they're taking it to the big screen, which will be out on June 15th. Overall, I don't have that much to say about it besides the fact that I'm extremely interested to see the dynamics between the various characters because there's obviously some insta-love slash admiration at first sight between Greg and Rachel because right off the bat we see her as this really just quirky person. But what was interesting as we progressed in the trailer at least was that Earl was telling Greg that he shouldn't treat her like a burden. I'm so tired of you treating this girl like she's a burden. Because somebody actually cares about you, her life is over after this. And that's basically from the setup with Greg's mom telling him to just hang out with and try to comfort Rachel. She's going to be seen as this kind of person he has to take care of, which is of course terrible, especially if you have leukemia. But their relationship is always going to develop and Earl might have feelings for Rachel. I'm just completely speculating. I did not script anything. I'm just basically rambling right now, which is what I always do anyways, so that's that. 
Anyways, tell me in the comments below what you thought of the trailer. I'm extremely interested to hear your thoughts if you've read the book and are judging it as a faithful adaptation or if you've just watched the trailer like myself. I will hopefully read and review the book within the month of April to, and I can tell you my thoughts that way. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Keep calm, read on, and I'll see you in a video soon. Goodbye.